What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dieris, and today I wanna to talk about two new ad sets that I brought to enhance my portrait photography. Now, before we get into the video, I wanna make sure to let you guys know to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel because that will greatly improve the channel. It will help me out. It's a small growing channel, so I definitely would appreciate that. And when you subscribe, make sure to hit the ring and bell button there so you'll be notified of future video and content coming from this channel into your feed. So let's get on with the video. For many beginner photographers, um, especially those who are trying to get into flash photography, uh, one of the biggest hurdle is trying to find that perfect light that's going to accompany them into their future careers. Now, what I have here, this is the Godox 8200 Portable Compact Speed Light. Now I've been eyeing this Godox, you know, speed light for about two years now, and I finally just, you know, bit the bullet about a week ago, um, and I finally got this bad boy. And I got this from Amazon for about, I, I think it was like 300 and it was like $50 plus tax. Can't remember, but I will have the link for this uh, in the comments below. Um, but what I have seen and heard is that that's a good price point for something that's gonna stick with you for a very long time. Even when you outgrow this light, what I've heard is that you're still gonna be using this because there's not that many external flashes that you can take with you in this small of a design to like anywhere, like outdoor shoots and whatnot. And as well as, you know, if you see here, this little strobe light, we'll talk about this in another minute. Um, you can't really find, you know, portable strobe lights. And this bad boy here, this bulb here, um, gives you that look that you would use in like studio portraiture or whatnot. Um, now, when you get the 8200, uh, it comes with this Fresno head attached to it. As you can see, I detached it. But when you get it, it comes in this nice, nice, small little package that has everything you need included within. So you open it up here, you have the 8200 speeding light here. Um, like I said, it's compact, portable, um, doesn't weigh that much. Um, and as you can see there with the Fresno head attached to it, uh, you can easily detach it off and then you can get the bulb light here and then be able to attach that to one of the adapters and attach it to the 8200. And then there you go, you have a strobe light. And then also, um, <clears throat> it comes with the charger, it comes with the battery that you can, you know, uh, all you have to do is push the button here, it pushes the battery out, and you can charge it up there. Um, and it just, I don't know, it just comes with a nice small package that you can just take with you anywhere you wanna go. Now, kinda wanna talk about the Fresno head here or the, the flash head, whatever you want to call it. Um, I don't shoot with this, and I probably will never shoot with this. Uh, as you guys know, as a portrait photographer, I do a lot of studio work, and when I do want to use an external light, like outdoors or in some other indoor uh, session that is not in a studio, um, I don't want to use a flash head because the light from here is directional, so it's only pointing in one direction. I don't want that. This is something you would want to use if you want to do like event photography, which is something I don't dabble in. So every time I do a shoot, I'm always attaching the bulb here to give me that, you know, that strobe lighting. Um, and because of this, 
because it's like it's it's the light is shooting from all around and that's why this is the best package you want to uh, choose when you're trying to use a soft box um, which we will talk about a little bit in a minute and um, and yeah I think this this right here is the perfect best light to get for any beginner photographers who are trying to dabble into flash photography um, so far I'm kind of enjoying um, the look and feel of the light that it portrays um, I'm gonna show you guys some pictures here that I took of my mom at her place um, now this is my first time using light and I'm glad I did because I wanted to practice using the light before I actually get into a professional shoot so I can kind of know what the look and feel and how powerful it is uh, with the softbox. Um, so here are some of the photos that we, we took. Um, I use a black V, v flat as a backdrop uh, that I created myself, by the way. Um, and to be honest, I, I actually like the photos. Um, they, they came out pretty good. Um, I do see some of the mistakes that I do with the light. Like some of them have, you know, some of them came out a little bit too more more powerful than I thought um, and that's the whole point of doing a practice shoot and it's great to have family members and friends who can kind of like um, help you you know practice you know with the new equipment that you have before you actually get out there in the field because you don't want to be you know on a commercial shoot trying to make sure this looks right for like an hour. That takes up too much of your time and that takes up a lot of money. So yeah, um, I'm definitely proud of the other practice shoot I did with my mom there. Um, you know, I still think they look great. Um, and you know, like I said, this is my first um, own speed light. This is my first flash flashlight. Um, and I think this was a perfect, purchase to get to start off with and then from here on out I'm just gonna you know move on up to like bigger strobes um, maybe different type of you know speed lights but first I want to use this as much as I can this year before I decide to upgrade but like I said I'm definitely gonna keep this here and for any begin beginner photographers out there I think the 8200 or the 8200 Pro um, are probably the best purchases to get now the 8200 Pro, I didn't get that there. I think it's around, really around the same price range as the regular 8200. The Pro comes with like, I think better lighting and um, power and stuff like that. But I mean, I think getting the 8200, it's it's not really a big step down. So, so now I want to go ahead and show you guys the softbox that I purchased with the 8200. That's kind of going to be the uh, combination that I'm going to be using now for a lot of my uh, flash photography shoots and you know like I said the pictures that you saw there that was also using the softbox that I'm about to show you here in a second and I believe this is the best combo to get for beginner photographers that are trying to get into flash photography so let's go ahead and check out the easy lock deep parabolic softbox all right guys so this here is the easy lock 38 inch deep parabolic softbox um so we're gonna open this bad boy here you're gonna see actually how big it is um and why i think it's kind of a good size uh this is like one of the medium sizes here i think they had a small one at 24 but i kind of wanted something that will allow me to you know uh, photograph like group photos of like two or three models so let's open this up so everything that you need comes inside the package. All right. So before we pull the actual softbox out, I want to show you guys this. Um, it comes with two different diffusers. Um, it has a inner diffuser, and then it has an outer diffuser. So depending on how soft you want your light, they give you two different options. You can kind of test around with, you know, how strong or soft you want your light with these two diffusers there, which I think is amazing. Um, it also comes with this silver plate. Actually, let me go ahead and get that. So as you can see here, it comes with this other silver plate here that you can put inside of the soft box. This also kind of helps out with 
kind of like reflecting the light in a certain direction. I think it has like a circular look to it. Whatever it is, I'm not using it. Um, I've seen a lot of other people don't really use it. It doesn't really, I don't know, make a difference. Maybe some of you guys might know more of this, but I don't use it, so. That's why it's over there and it's not in here. All right, so this, this is what we're looking for. Oh, and I forgot about this here as well. It also comes with a grid. Now, this is something I realized I did not use when I show you the photos of the portraits or the headshots that I did with my mom. I think these would have been better to use with the V-flat because if you guys don't know what a grid does, a grid kind of helps you direct the light to your subject. So for instance, if you have a subject in front of, you know, a black backdrop or whatever, and you don't want that background to get lit up, but you only want the person or the subject in front to lit up, this is what the grid does. The grid kind of helps direct the light to that person up front. So they would be lit up, but the background wouldn't. So this is great. So that's the thing. This thing comes with a lot of the stuff that you need here. Like I said, this is why I think the 8200 Godox, as well as the Easy Lock Herbolic softbox here for beginners. This is a good combo. So yeah, I'll have the link for this as well in the description below so you guys can you know purchase it or check it out there on Amazon. So yeah, let's go ahead and open this up. And they're called easy lock because they're supposed to be easy to open as well as to lock. So I don't think you guys can see it from the camera, but what I gotta do is open this up. So I'll show you guys if you guys didn't see. This is it here, you just push it down here and just lock it up. Like an umbrella. Do you see how big this thing is? <laughs> Sit here. Alright. That's it here. So, as you see these little um, these clip on buttons here, this is for the inner diffuser that you want to put in. And then right here you have Velcro, a line at the uh, edges here. And this is for the outer diffuser here where your light is back here. And, and then there you go. So like I said, this is 38 inches wide, I believe. Yeah. So I guess I'll go ahead and just put the outer diffuser on just so you can see how easy it is. And the outer one is definitely easier to put on. The inner one is easy as well, but the thing is you gotta like press really hard on the, the, the buttons there, the clip-ons there, so it can kind of like click and clip to the inner diffuser. And then trying to take it out, I sometimes get a little scared because you kind of got to like yank and stretch the uh, the fabric there. And sometimes I feel like when I'm trying to yank it off, I feel like I'm going to break it. Um, so I don't know. I don't like that as much, but I think it's built for that to be pulled off. So that's why it has an extra room to hold on and pull off so you can detach. But for the outer one, super easy. I just see, line up a Velcro and then bam. There you go. So yeah, like I said, I'll have this as well as the Godox. Um, the links will be in the description below. And guys, to be honest, I don't think you can get any better than this um, for this package. Both of these combined together was probably around like almost $500, I believe. Cause I believe this here was about like 80 something dollars. Um, I could be wrong, but that's what I'm gonna put the link in there so you guys can see the prices probably even dropped by now. So yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you thought it was helpful there. Definitely for those who have been, you know, looking around, doing research, reviews, looking for, you know, the best package or combo that you can get to enhance your photography, especially if you're a beginner or amateur like myself when I was trying to, you know, 
look for the perfect light setup. And like I said, I've been wanting this here for about two years and it's been on my Amazon wish list for that long until I went ahead and decided to purchase it because at the time I didn't feel like I needed a flash, but now this year I am really trying to get more into flash photography, especially for the outdoors. Now, with that said, um, I do have some photo shoots this week that I'm hoping to bring you guys along and make some more POV uh, videos with the portraits using this light as well as the softbox there and um, show you guys, you know, what you can actually get when you're enhancing your photos with, uh, with this combo package. So, so yeah, definitely look forward to that guys, but that will be it for today's video. Like I said before, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. And as always, keep the dreams alive. Peace.